The future of energy, storing heat using salt inside a greenhouse. If we are to contain or reverse the effects of global warming, we need to find alternative ways to store energy. Fossil fuels are stored energy, but not the only kind. Water stores energy, absorbing it as it melts and releases heat as it freezes. Anyone who was sat on a warm rock after sunset has experienced phase change. Many products have the same capability, and it turns out that salt outperforms many common phase change materials, or PCM. Concrete releases 10 kilojoules per kilogram, water 50, and PCM using organic salt compounds 260. Carmania Farm received an agri-innovation grant to test the use of salt-based PCMs to keep their greenhouse warm in a winter, replacing the use of hydroelectric power. Carmania is growing citrus inside its greenhouse, so it had a lot at stake. Carmania Farm kept detailed weather records inside and outside the greenhouse during the winter of 2013-14 before the PCM was placed inside, and then again in 2014-15 after the PCM had been placed and the hydroelectric disconnected. 89 one kilogram bottles were placed in wire racks along the growing beds. The value of PCM over more traditional sources such as water barrels is that given that space means revenue inside a greenhouse, the less obtrusive PCM provides more space for growing. PCM can also be placed vertically. Lessons learned. PCM is a stock, but not a flow of energy, so when it's finished releasing its thermal energy, there is no more to release until it recharges. It was therefore helpful to have a backup source, such as a barrel of rainwater, to augment when the light coming in through the day was not sufficient to recharge the PCM. PCM re also requires air movement to better recharge the bottles. Finally, like chickens inside a coop, it is better to stack the bottles than to place them side by side in order to slow the release of the heat. The results. The graphs for the months when a PCM was in use do indicate a larger gap between the inside temperature inside the greenhouse subtracting out the outside temperature and additionally indicate that the minimum temperature inside the greenhouse for those months did not go below the freezing point of water. As well, this was the first year of three consecutive years that the lime tree growing inside the greenhouse did not die from exposure. As well, there is an avocado tree inside the greenhouse that successfully made it through the winter with the PCM in place of hydro. The avocado tree has now come out of dormancy and has begun new growth for the year. The conclusion at Carmania Farm is that salt-based PCM was an effective way to store energy during the cold nights and have it available to keep our citrus and avocado crop healthy.